Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Samantha and I'm back with a brand new video. If you're new here, I film videos on life, fashion, travel, luxury, and a whole lot of fun and wedding planning. So if you're into that and you like my energy, do hit the subscribe button below so you can see the rest of my videos. We're all Polen lovers here and in this video, I'm sharing a six month honest review of the Numero Neuf Mini. See all of your questions in my previous videos on the bag and in this video, I'm gonna be answering all of them. How does the letter wear? How is getting things in and out of the bag? And one of the biggest questions that I've gotten from you guys, how does it compare to the Numero Un Nano? But I wanted to make sure that I was checking in on the comments that you've left in my unboxing of the Pula Numero Nu six months ago and I'm so thankful that you guys actually watch these videos and feel like I'm providing good information and helping you make your decision when it comes to making luxury purchases. That means a lot to me. Polen did gift me the Numero Neuf, um, but the very first bag I owned from Polen, which is the Numero Un Nano, I bought with my own money and they never request me to do any videos, but I just do them because I love the bag, I love the brand, and I know you guys do as well. Okay, so I'm going to be answering question by question. So the first one, um, how often do I wear it? Let me just grab this bag over here. This is my Polen Numero Neuf Mini in the color blush. See how cute she is? Still call her my little dumpling bag. If I'm being completely honest, I've worn the bag out a handful of times. Like a fairly decent amount over the past six months. I've definitely brought her out a lot more in the summer months um, because it's small and it's cute and it's easy to wear and also I find that I gravitate to mini bags a lot more when the weather is warmer because I'm not carrying that many things in my bag anyway and a lot of the stuff that I have in my bag are essentials. Um, I don't really carry a water bottle too much like in my bags. I don't know. I, I just leave it in the car and so that's not really a huge concern for me. Um, and so I have brought the Numero Neuf Mini out quite often. Um, specifically on days where I know I'm gonna be walking around in the city. Um, I've also taken her out a number of times for date night. I just remove the long strap so that I can hold it as a handheld and that's really, really cute. It gets a lot of eyeballs because of the shape and how unique it looks, but also the color is really, it's a really nice summer color to wear. So long story short, yes, I have been wearing the Neuf Mini out quite often. Um, do I wear it as often as I wear my Polen Numero Unano? No. I definitely wear the Unano a lot more. And I'm going to be referencing um, the difference between the Numero Neuf and the Numero Un or the Number One Nano quite often throughout this video because they're quite similar in size. Um, and a lot of the questions that you guys send in are in regards to those two bags. Second one, is this bag comfortable? Yes. It is. It is very comfortable to wear. The strap does not hurt my shoulder. Um, very easy to take on and off. I was to hold it as a handheld. It's very, very comfortable to use. Is the color easy to wear with outfits? A fantastic question. A pink tone uh, will blush on the website. A very similar tone, which is a little bit more muted on the Poland in website, is the dune color. And I mean, it really depends on what you want to use the bag for and what you have in your collection. So I talk a lot about this on my channel. As you know, I like to make sure whatever items I add to my designer collection has longevity to it and it's something that I'll be able to wear time and time again. And the reason I went with blush versus like a taupe or a more neutral color is because I have quite a bit of those and I wanted something that was different in my collection but also easy to wear. And I felt that the blush with my wardrobe and with like how I like to style clothing, like I wear quite a bit of color but I also wear quite a bit of neutrals. Um, I felt like this would be the best color for me in terms of styling and how I would wear it. If you are interested and are still dabbling between the blush or the dune color or just like something that's a little bit more neutral like the white or black um, I'm going to link a video where I style the Poland Numero Neuf Mini in this color um, with different outfits and hopefully that video can help you out. Another question that I get very often is this bag easy to use? Is it easy to get things in and out of this little compartment over here? See right now um, this is as much as it's going to stretch for the mini size. Um, it doesn't stretch very much this way 
it only really opens like this. I don't think it is the easiest bag to get stuff in and out of. <laughs> because also I tend to pack my bags with essentials, sometimes I like to put my G7X camera in it. And um, I'm comparing this to the number one Nano that I have where I can put my Canon camera into that bag, take things out so much easier than the Numero Nuf Mini. So I would recommend that if you're looking for this bag to be a bag where you regularly need to take things in and out to maybe consider getting a different design because I did find that the opening and how it's shaped makes it a little bit more difficult to quickly put my hand in, find what I'm looking for and take it out without feeling like I'm pulling other things out with it. Next question is about uniqueness between the Numero Neuf and here she is, the number one nano. I have both of these, love them both. Um, but in terms of uniqueness, I would definitely say the Nuf Mini is more unique. It's it's the shape of it, right? It's like I have never seen a bag that looks like this, that has such good structure, like on its own, like look at how stunning it is. Okay, next question. So how has the leather and the material worn over the past six months? Uh, like all Poland bags, incredibly this bag is it feels like i just received it even though i've brought it out quite a few times i've definitely not been gentle with this bag when i'm trying to get stuff in and out the leather still looks amazing i think the thing that i love most about polen is the quality of the items and i really feel that if i was going to spend money on a bag i know that i'm paying for good craftsmanship it's all grain leather i don't know if they're going to change this but for the numero Nuf mini and i think also the original size they only really have full grain leather um versus in my review of the numero un nano you can see a little bit of wear but i'll attach that video up here so you can watch that as well how much does it actually hold? Less than the Numero Un Nano, in my humble opinion. Uh, but again, uh, you can watch the unboxing where I fit stuff into this bag. You can see exactly how much you can fit inside. But if you're holding essentials like lip balm, sunglasses, keys, wallet, all that jazz, if it's just the basic necessities, then yeah, I think it holds quite a bit. It holds what it needs to hold. This one holds um, a good amount more. Summarize everything. One of the biggest questions um around the theme of like is like which bag is best honestly if i had to compare between the two it's very hard to say like i wish i could just be like this is a better bag but it really depends but i'm gonna try and break it down a little bit um based on my opinion of course if you think otherwise go for what you like don't listen to me again in terms of uniqueness of style if you want something different um, and if you feel like you're gonna be using it for date nights, I think that the Numero Nuf Mini is better. If you're looking for practicality, something where you want to wear the bag out day to day to hold your stuff, the Numero Un Nano, I think it's a better choice. It's just easier to use. If you're thinking about what would work best with my outfits, again, that depends more on the color as opposed to the shape. You could essentially get either one, um, but the color would be kind of the determining factor pending what your wardrobe kind of looks like. If you're someone who likes more neutrals and you don't really like color that much, then obviously you could opt for like the taupe or the white or the black. On the flip side, if you wear a lot of color and you like color, then the world is your oyster. You can pick. Like there's so much to choose from. Like smooth leather, then the number one nano would be a better choice because you have the option of choosing smooth leather on the flip side if you don't really care whether it's smooth or full grain leather then your options are a little bit more broad i for one i absolutely adore the pull-in bags that i own i own two of the smaller bags and then one which is the pull-in sim which is a little bit larger and i can put my laptop and water bottle and stuff and so i think i have a good variety from pull-in and I really truly just love the brand but I hope this video was informational for you and of course if you have any other questions whether it's about the Polen brand or other luxury brands or just like any questions in general about life do let me know in the comments below because I always love hearing from you guys thank you again so much for watching my video I film videos every single week and if you want to be friends I'm also on all these other platforms you can find me on Instagram I'm also on TikTok and of course this YouTube channel I'll see you in the next video thank you again so much for watching Bye!